welcome back to my channel today i'm making river state native soup yes river state native soup and i'm going to be using the hackfish and this is hackfish i've washed cleaned scaled and it's ready to go and i'm going to be adding seafood to it you can use any fish of your choice but i am sticking with the hackfish and i'm going to be using prawns mussels and squid as my seafoods and i'm going to also add shrimps this has been pre-cooked and ready to go i'm also going to add black periwinkle or the giant periwinkle whatever you call it and we call it iboro but it's called a black periwinkle and i'm also going to add the blue periwinkle um, just a melange of different seafood and crayfish which i'm going to use in enhancing the taste of this food i'm going to show you how i'm going to pound it i'm not going to blend it i'm going to pound it and meanwhile i'll show you and i have an option of either brown or pink onion but i have chosen the pink which I have chopped nicely. Here I have my Uziza seed grounded and ready to go. I don't really have the fresh leaves, so I've uh, decided to use the grounded, you know, Uziza seed. I'm going to enhance the taste of this soup with, you know, stock cubes and stock powder, which will go hand in hand. And to enhance the color of the soup, I have decided to use spinach not just about the color but the nutrients it's also very important this is my fresh you know washed spinach i have chopped it nicely into what you have here yes so now let's begin i'm going to start by washing and pounding the crayfish in this local mokta yeah so i'm going to pound it i just want it somewhere in the middle not so grounded but just fine this is okay at this point it's ready i'm just going to scoop it nicely and put it in a bowl and set it aside and add it to the soup when the time comes so let's start the soup so i've started the soup we have the fish put in the pot and just a little water added to it i have all my seasoning in it the stock cube the stock powder the pepper scotch bonnet and onions all in the soup and it's ready to go so I'm going to cook this fish for about 10 minutes but there's something very important you do not stir I've added just a little water because every fish has got its own you know juice that it's going to come out every meat so I'm just going to leave it to cook for about 10 minutes and everything is going to simmer nicely and go into it and after 10 minutes I'm going to add the seafoods which I have shown earlier so I'm just going to cover this and let it cook Remember, you cannot stir this fish because we don't want it breaking and being all over the place. We just want it together as we are seeing it. Trust me, you're going to like this soup. Okay, here this fish has been cooking for 10 minutes. As you can see, we're making progress. The soup is ready to proceed to the next stage, which is adding the seafood. I am just going to put the seafood nicely and I will repeat, we cannot stir. So if you notice... I'm just going to be gradually feeding in everything into the little water that we have in this pot. I haven't put too much water because I don't want it to work tree. I want the ingredients and the seasoning to go in nicely into the seafoods and the you know fish. So here I'm going to also add the dry you know uh, periwinkle because I also want everything to have a uniform taste so that's what I'm doing so if you notice I am gradually feeding everyone <laughs> they're all members I'm gradually feeding everyone into the water I don't want you know to stir it I don't want to break up the fish so at this point I have left this in real time I am not fast forwarding anything so you can see the step by step method on how we achieve that beautiful soup that we're looking for so if you stay with me you're going to enjoy this experience so everything is well fit into the water make sure the water is touching everything so the taste is uniform and i'm going to cover it again and allow it to cook for an extra 10 minutes so all the seafoods are pre properly cooked and it's tasting nice okay so now it's been cooking for about another 10 minutes as we can see this fish is cooked you will see the fish is cooked look at all that water we didn't even add any more water but look at this the soup is building up you know right here so i'm going to go ahead and add the crayfish we pounded earlier and at this point i'm going to introduce a special guest actually two special guests i have my palm oil 
which I didn't mention earlier, but you cannot cook soup without palm oil. Come on, guys. Yeah, so this is a palm oil. And this is going to enhance the color. It's going to give you that beautiful yellow color, which, you know, is, you know, native soup is known for. And I am going to, at this point, introduce another special ingredient to thicken the soup. It is called the cow pea. Voila. So this is a cow pea. It is traditionally called the upo by the Igbo people. In my place, it's called igon. So this has been grounded nicely and, you know, dried and grounded nicely and a bit of oil added to it to give it this beautiful color. It is called the cow pea. And it has medicinal, you know, effect. It has a medicinal content. It's the same thing as the achi. You know the traditional archie which is used in thickening soup but this i prefer because it has medicinal content and it's very good it thickens the soup like as good as you would want it so i'm going to add this to the soup but i'm going to mix it in a bowl yeah so this is the bowl i use for the palm oil i'm just going to turn this you know in um powder into this bowl and i'll start stirring it's important that we do this here because as we remember we cannot stir this soup because we don't want the fish grinding and being a paste so I'm just going to gently stir this nicely you know mix it in this bowl by adding little you know amounts of hot water at a time I want the point here is to make sure that I make it into a good consistency and take out all of the lumps you don't want to do this in the pot you know what's going to happen to your fish, right? Good. So we're going to do it in this plate. Imagine this is where you're mixing it. And it's like a simulation of what's really happening in the main pot. So we're going to keep adding. This is hot boiled water. I'm adding it gently because I want to get the lumps all out. I want to get into a fine paste. So I'm just going to keep stirring it. I haven't done this in fast pace. I've left it in real time so we can see the process. I'm just going to keep stirring it into a nice paste. So the quantity and everything I use for the soup is going to be put in the description box below. So just keep calm and just watch. So I'm still stirring it as nice as possible just keep stirring it make sure i take out all the lumps until i've gotten the consistency that i like so at this point i think it's good to go into the pot so now i'm going to add it to the pot you can see the oil is mixed up nicely i didn't even have to stir it the palm oil so i'm going to spread this nicely in the pot and everything goes into the pot no wasting in fact, I'm going to rinse this bowl with a bit of hot water to make sure I've taken out all the products, you know, all the ingredients into the pot. And when I'm done, I'm going to make sure that everything, you know, spreads nicely and mixes up nicely without staring guys without staring you don't stare if you notice i'm just lifting up the fish and just passing the spoon around like i said i've left this in normal time in real time so you can see the process so i'm not staring it make sure you don't stare for those of you who like staring your soup you cannot stare this i know it's tempting but we've done the staring in the bowl we're just going to make sure we move these things gradually because we want everything to go in nicely but we don't want to stay we also don't want it to stick that's why i'm moving it this way and lifting up the fish as, as gentle as you can we have to learn gentility <laughs> as gentle as you can so fetch the soup pour it around if that will suffice so you feel you're staring but you cannot actually stare it okay so I'm just going to leave it to simmer a bit for extra five minutes and then at this point now I want to add the um, pre-cooked shrimps which I showed earlier. So because this has already been pre-cooked I didn't add it earlier with the rest of the seafoods. I am adding it now so it stays all nice and fresh. So I'm just going to put that and leave it to simmer again for an extra three to five minutes depending on the kind of cooker you're using um, just make sure everything sips in nicely 
sits in nicely in the soup so that the seasoning goes into it if you notice i haven't added any other seasoning since i started the one i use in you know spice and seasoning the fish is all i have added and that is enough the germans will call it as is genug so that is enough and this soup looks good already mm, let me taste it yeah so here i'm going to start adding the little oozes of leaves that i've cut <laughs> very little because we can't easily find it and i'm augmenting it with the oozes of seed grounded oozes of seed i showed earlier so this is going to give us a hot feel of reverse the native soup so the oozes of seed gives us that so you either use the leaves but where you cannot find the leaves, don't worry, I got you. You can always use the seed as well. So that's what I am teaching today. You can use the seed to give you that fresh oozes of hotness in the soup. And to cover up for, you know, the color that this seed isn't going to give us. Remember the spinach? Yes, we're going to add the spinach in, you know bringing out the beautiful color of this soup so this soup as we can see is pretty much ready it is pretty much ready so the last two ingredients that should go in the last two things that should go in will be the spinach and double periwinkle and we're adding these two last because we want them to stay green and beautiful for me in food color is important presentation is always very important so i'm going to put them last apart from the fact we don't want it to overcook we want it to stay green and beautiful looking very appetizing so this soup is pretty much ready to go i am going to go ahead and bring in the last two members <laughs> which is the spinach and the blue periwinkle so this has been simmering again for for an extra two minutes because I want everything to be well cooked again it's important that your fish is properly cooked very important for health reasons you don't want it to have cooked fish so here now I'm going to add my green uh, periwinkle my green spinach sorry to enhance the color if you notice I'm not putting a lot I'm just putting just enough to bring out the beauty this is not vegetable soup it is called river state fisherman soup or native soup so i'm careful you know about the amount of vegetable i'm putting so now i'm adding the blue periwinkle which shows that we're coming to the end of this process and it will be ready to be served so why, why don't you tell me what you think thumbs up if you like it try it and let me know what you think why don't you click like and share this video so we'll all be cooking this soup together it is pretty easy you can cook it with any fish tilapia even mackerel or hake or croaker if you don't want to do the fishes you might want to the fish you, you might want to try all the meat you want to try oxtail cow leg the goat meat typical beef why not why don't we even try chicken i would like to try that what do you think tell me what you think we'll probably try the chicken or the third turkey so here i have my river state native soup aka the fisherman soup ready to go look at all that goodness look at all that color look at all that niceness you want to try this try it like click and share and tell me what you think and this is the end of this video i hope you really enjoyed this process i hope it wasn't too long i hope i wasn't too fast and i hope you're able to pick out you know the simple way of making this reverse dignity so pretty much easy and i hope you enjoyed this video bon appetit just savour it <laughs> thank you for watching and thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing and thank you for sharing my video. I am going to be bringing you another special soup next week. Bon appetit.